Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Whoa, this is amazing. So many people. Hello, everyone. Can I get a raise of hands if this is your first Success Academy? Whoa, so many hands going up. Well, I want to, in, I want to thank you all for coming. Thank you for taking the time to come. And also, I want you to thank the person who invited you here because I believe that this time today will be able to change your life. Atomy has changed my life. I'm talking a 180, right? And I believe that that's the story of many leaders that you see here today. And I believe that Atomy can do the same for you if you choose to do it and if you understand what it is that you're doing. Are you ready to learn? Yes. I can't hear you. Are you ready to learn? Yes. This place is dear to my heart. You know why? Because Singapore was the first seminar that I did internationally. Can you believe that? In my Atomy journey, yes, Singapore was the first place that I came to to give vision lectures, to give eight steps to success, and so many other uh, opportunities that were given to me to come invest in you. So I want to be able to leave today with a sense of accomplishment and understand that somebody here, whether it's you, you, whoever it may be, that Atomy will change your life as it has changed so many of us, okay? So, Atomy is a tool, a tool that we can all use to change the course of our future. Many of us here today understand that we have to make money. Yes or no? Yes. It's not something that we can choose not to do. But doing this business, we have to choose to do what we need to do, right? Not what we want to do. So many of us get confused with those two words. So many of us are confused to do things that we want to do, and we say that we cannot do those things because we don't want to do them. But we have to understand that in order to become successful, there is a journey behind us. And each step that we take, it brings us to that final destination where we all want to be. And I believe that all of us want to become imperial masters. Yes? yes. Do you believe that you can become an imperial master? Yes. Is that true? Can you really, really envision that in your mind today? Yes. I want to help you to envision those things. Because I think a lot of us, we understand and we've heard the eight steps to success. We've heard these stories about how to become successful by doing A, B, and C, one, two, and three, and all these different steps. But the issue is, it's not about not knowing, or it's not about not having the information to become successful, but it's about mindset. It's about understanding what it is that you're doing and for what purpose you're doing these things. And this theme for this, sex, this seminar is entrepreneurial journey, right? In order for you to become an entrepreneur, you have to have a vision. And that vision needs to be something that you believe in. And if you do not believe in that vision, it is very difficult to try to accomplish those things that are ahead of you. I believe that there are so many individuals who want people to invest in them, right? If you want to start your own business and you go to venture capitalists and angel investors and they ask you, what is it that you want to accomplish? What is your business going to do? Do you believe in that business? And you sit there with your PowerPoint and you're like, mm, I'm not sure. I don't know if I can become, quote unquote, a imperial master. I don't know if that's for me. Uh, everybody's telling me that I can become successful, but I don't know. Do you think they're going to invest in you? The biggest investor in your business is yourself. If you don't even believe that, when you look at the mirror every single day and you're staring at yourself and you're thinking, can I do this? Is it possible for me who doesn't have these things to become successful? If you don't believe it, then who else is going to believe you? Because our job is to share information. And if we don't know the information, it's going to be very difficult to share that information. So step one, Ironically, there is a step zero, and it is about mindset, and it is about controlling the things that you do, because every single day you make choices, and the choices that you desire to make are ones that you subconsciously or consciously choose to do. For example, we're here today, you're sitting here today at this success, at this event, 
And we're here because we made the choice to be here today. You're listening online because we made a choice to listen to this lecture today. You made that choice. And every single day we're limited to only eight hours to 10 hours a day. Would you agree? Some of us are limited to maybe two hours to four hours a day. We don't have the necessary time of 24 hours each day to invest all that we can. So we have to take this precious time that we have and we have to use the energy that we have to make sure that it is focused on the things that you want to accomplish. And in this business, our focus is to become first step, right? Auto sales master. So everybody that we listen to, everybody that we talk to, everything is geared towards your success in terms of auto sales master by building a consumer group. But how can you do these things if you don't know what it is that you're doing? Yesterday, I had the opportunity to speak at a center and I had a great question come up. This question was one that I think many of us struggle with without knowing that we're struggling with it. And let me share that question with you. This gentleman asked me, he said, sir, when I used to run my own business, I had many people come to my convenience store and talk to me about all these different things and I was very confident in speaking to them and I was very confident in selling them whatever products that came through my store. But after doing Atomy, my confidence has gone down and I can't seem to close and I can't seem to, I can't seem to conversate with individuals about the vision and he was very, it was a very good question. But this question I get a lot, and I think it's all about the mentality that you have. Let me change this question a little bit, okay? This same question was asked towards me towards a product. So I had a partner come up to me and he said, you know, I feel uncomfortable going to people to sell them a product. Whatever product that may be, maybe it's skincare, Maybe it's sunscreen, maybe it's hemorrhoid, whatever it may be. They say, I feel uncomfortable going to this individual and sharing with them or trying to sell them this product. And I asked him, why? Why do you feel this way? And the response that I get is what? I believe that I'm doing this for my own benefit. This is something that I'm doing for myself. I'm trying to sell them something maybe that they don't want. So you see what this is? This is about mindset. It's about not understanding Atomy and it's, not, it's about not understanding what it is that you're doing. And I said, let's change your mindset a little bit. Let's change the way that you think. A lot of us have this idea that in Atomy we're selling products, right? We have an idea that when I'm approaching somebody, I'm approaching them not with an opportunity for them, but a benefit for me because I need them to succeed, I need them to join, I need this and this and this. And that's the wrong mindset because in this business, just like I told him, I said, listen, even if you approach that individual to sell that sunscreen, I guarantee you that they will be using a sunscreen regardless of you approaching them. And what if you can approach them with a sunscreen that is better in quality, better in price, then have you just try to just sell something for your own benefit or are you actually approaching them to help them? And he said, you know, I didn't think about it like that. That's what you have to think about right now here today in Atomy. We as Atomians, we are not here to leech off of individuals. We're not here to try to create something by overselling something, but we are doing this as a lifestyle. And what kind of lifestyle this is, it's about sharing. We had many individuals come up here on stage today, talk about their opportunities and how they got started. But in the business that we're doing right now, the motto is the key. In Atomy, we're all about what's serving. We're all about doing these things in order to give value to those around us. And you cannot give true value through a system that you do not believe in. And a valuable, a valuable system like Atomy has already shown itself and proved itself because we're already over 25 different countries and we're doing billions of dollars in sales. We have hundreds and thousands, millions of members around the world. And it speaks for itself. What does? The data. So you have to understand that in this business that we're doing today, it is about understanding the value that you are bringing to other people and that should give you confidence. Do you believe that? Do you believe that you are giving value to others around you, yes or no? Yes, you are a vessel moving information so therefore you do not need to be worried about the response that you get from the other side because another thing can happen. Another thing is what? Even if you present the best presentation, 
The person listening, you do not have control over. Maybe they just didn't have a wonderful day today, and whatever you're telling them is just not gonna fly. Or maybe on the other way, maybe you didn't give the best presentation possible, but they were looking for something already, and they see that vision inside of you and the vision that you're speaking about, and then they grab hold. So it doesn't matter about those things, it's all about consistency and how you're investing your energy that you have each and every day to do these things. A lot of us today, we made the choice to come here, and today you're gonna choose to leave here. And when you leave, you have the choice to remember today's lecture, you have the choice to remember the impact that it may have for you, or you can go back on autopilot. A lot of us are on autopilot each and every day. We don't remember how we got here. We don't remember what, we're, what we did last week. We're just doing things to do them without understanding why we're doing them. And in order to become successful, the choices that you make need to be intentional. The actions that you plan need to be intentional. I love the speakers today talking about their goals, about wanting to accomplish something. If you want to become an auto sales master, then it, you know what you have to do. You have to create 2.5 million PV in your A and B line, and you have to have a personal PV of 700K. So what is your intention today to make that come into existence? Everything that you do from now on is gonna be dependent on what you think. And a lot of us, just like that question asked by those two gentlemen, are questions that they ask because they do not understand what it is that they're doing. Every single day, whatever you think, you keep thinking it and thinking it and thinking it and what, what's gonna happen? It's gonna come into fruition. If you believe that you cannot do these things today, then they will come into fruition. You will have that not happen. For example, I had a partner who said, I asked my partner, I said, listen, let's build up your group, all right? Take out your notepad, write some names down, and let's go through this list. Everybody, you've experienced this before, yes? Well, this individual kept telling me that the people that we were about to call were too busy and it would be improper for us to call them for an appointment because the free time that they have, it would, be un, it would be very unprofessional for us to ask them to join us on the weekends or on, during the nighttime, things like that, right? So this person already had a mindset of what? Was it a positive mindset or a negative mindset? I can't hear you, what is it? Yes, it wasn't positive, right? So they're already drawing a picture a failure without even understanding this. So we called them. I said, all right, you talk to them. Let's see um, if they're gonna be free Wednesday. And then she called them and they're like, oh, oh do you have time uh, to meet us on Wednesday? And they said, oh no, Wednesday I'm busy. She's like, yeah, I knew it. I knew you'd be busy, you know, okay, thank you. Hung up and looked at me and said, look, I told you that we wouldn't be able to get that meeting. Doesn't that sound like she didn't want that meeting to become fruitful? Didn't that sound like she already chose that that meeting would not come true? That's the thing that a lot of us miscommunicate with. What if it was the other way around? What if she knew that this person would be willing to join us in a meeting? Then she would ask, well, if you're not free Wednesday, how about Friday? How about this day? And working towards a goal of making that come true. A lot of us quit ahead of time. We see a lot of memes, we see a lot of pictures of the person who's breaking through the wall and there's what? Gold on the other side, right? And right before he's about to break through, what does he do? He packs up and leaves, right? And I think that's about consistency right there. A lot of us each and every day, we are too affected by the results of what's going to happen. A lot of us today, we're affected by the outcome of what is right in front of us. But you know what? The picture is grand. Right now is not going to determine everything. Even if you have failures today, you don't have to allow those failures to determine the future. It is a picture, it is a journey that we're going through. So today's lecture, I titled it the, the 3 two, one plan. So what's the three, two, one plan? We hear this so many times, and psychologically speaking, whenever we hear these things, we get up and do. And I feel like a lot of my partners, a lot of individuals that I speak to around the world have this inability to get up because they're just in their comfort zone. 
We heard that today, right? We have to get out of the house because when we're in the house, what happens? We become comfortable. And when we become comfortable, what happens? We become lazy. And it's very natural for us to be lazy, right? I think it's everybody's goal to sleep in and to have a lazy morning. Wouldn't you agree? Who says, oh, I hate lazying around. I like to be busy every single day, every single day. But if you're busy every single day, you want to do the opposite sometimes, right? And I think that a lot of us need to have this in our mind. So let's practice this a little bit, okay? If I say three, two, one, I want you to stand up, okay? I want you to wake up. Ready? Three, two, one, up. Yes, there you go. Stretch a little bit, stretch a little bit. You can sit back down. Yes, yes. So whenever you three, two, one in your mind, you need to take action and you need to take these things into your everyday plan. And these th three, two, one plans that I'm talking about is very basic. It's things that we already understand and already know how to do, but a lot of us do not do those things. So I'm going to break it down for you real quick. I don't have my clicker, so you guys can uh, click over to the next slide, okay? So I love what Benjamin Franklin says. A lot of us, we don't understand. Oh, there you go. There, I will click. There you go. <laughs> uh, all right, so the next slide, as we see, is if you fail to plan, you're planning to fail, right? And a lot of us don't understand these things. Every day when you do nothing, what fruit do you create? Nothing. That's a fruit, right? When you do nothing, what do you accomplish? Nothing. When you do something, you accomplish something, right? We want to be more specific about what that something that you want to accomplish is to be. So anatomy, it is auto sales master goal for our entrepreneur journey, right? It is for you to be your own boss, and it is for you to be responsible for all things. So what I mean by this is you, anatomy, are responsible for your success. Let that sink in really deep. A lot of us think that our success is dependent on our sponsor, on our partner, on the company. I can't become successful because my company or my country branch doesn't have Hemohim. Or I can't become successful because my country doesn't have X, Y, and Z. Or I can't be successful because my sponsor cannot help me with A, B, and C. I can't be successful because my partner can't do A, B, and C. You see what happens. You continue to talk to yourself by looking over and making, looking at, making it look like the grass is greener where? On the other side. It always seems like the grass is greener on the other side, right? But that is a lie that you are telling yourself. The grass is perfect where you are. And if it isn't, you can make it better. Who? Who? You. You are responsible. So as an entrepreneur, as a person who is commanding their own business and desires flexibility, you are also the one who is required to make sure that all these things come to fruition, okay? So it is 99% of your effort right now that you need from going zero PV to 300K PV a day. Does that make sense, everyone? Before doing this, we listen to the compensation plan. And in that compensation plan, we understood that as we grow this business, as you share one item, two items, three items, it begins to grow. So, Atomy is a business that we can all become a part of because it is a lifestyle. What does that mean? This lifestyle business that I'm talking about is not one that requires any special needs, okay? It is not one where you have to have a certain age or a certain criteria in terms of your resume to become a member of Atomy. A member of Atomy is somebody that they don't even know they're a member. For example, we're all members today, and you didn't even know that, if you're not registered, you didn't even know that you're a member, but you're a member in terms of the business aspect. So what do I mean? What do I mean? Can I get a raise of hands if you brush your teeth today? Oh, some of you sitting next to people who didn't brush your teeth. <laughs> Did you wash your hair today? Yes. Some of you don't have any hair to wash, but it's okay. So it doesn't matter, right? Every item that you have, you have an item that you can use every single day. But the question is this. You've been using those items every single day, but have you ever been paid to brush your teeth? 
So everybody asks me, how do I do Atomy? I don't know how to do Atomy. They say, you know, uh, this is, I ask them, I say, so how do you do Atomy? They say, this is what I do. I go up to the person and I say, oh, have you ever heard about Atomy? It's a network marketing company. It's different than other network marketing companies. You know, not the same. And you're going through this repertoire of trying to sell the company. But you're trying to sell a company to somebody who doesn't want to buy. They don't want to buy your story 99% of the time. You understand what I mean? In your mind, when you first heard Atomy, I'm sure you thought the same thing. I did. When I first heard Atomy, oh, it's another network marketing company. It's another MLM. Did you not think those things? I honestly did. And I think a lot of individuals that you try to talk to in that manner will think the same thing. They'll think, oh, she's coming again with another business. Oh, I already heard this so many times. But the thing is, what? If you ask them like this, you say, listen, you brush your teeth, you never made money brushing your teeth, I'm going to teach you how to make money brushing your teeth. Doesn't that sound more appealing? That's the secret. So I just gave you a big secret tip on how to recruit people. It's not about sharing about Atomy. People who don't know Atomy don't care about Atomy. You understand? They don't care if it's Atomy, they don't care if it's Bamini, Kamini, whatever name it is, they don't care because it doesn't relate to them. But I guarantee you if you talk to them in this manner, it will matter. For example, every single day I see young people struggling to make an income. You go to university for four years, right? In hopes of getting a good job. And then you have to go to university for two more years to at least get a master's now. Just a bachelor's isn't good enough, right? So that's six years. After six years, you have to go learn another language or go on an internship for another two years. That's another eight years of your life now. And then what do you do? Every single year you invested in your studies, the expenses to do these things cost you a minimum of $10,000 a year. Wouldn't you agree? School, tuition, food, books, everyday life, even if you got a scholarship, I guarantee you, you'd be spending about $10,000 a year. So eight years later, you're $80,000 in debt. And this is why. Why are you doing this? For the hope of getting a good job. And what is the definition of a good job, everyone? A job that makes lots of money. Yes? When you tell your children, I want you to get a good job, do you mean I want you to become a volunteer and go to Africa and make no money? Is that what you mean? Yes, it's funny how everything is tied together. A good job to most is one that has a high salary, a high income. So now everybody around you, most all of us, have gone through this process. So imagine what your income will be after eight years. It'll vary, but you know what the funny thing is? No matter if you make 10,000 a month, no matter if you make 8,000, 5,000, 3,000, 2,000, 1,000, whatever it is, it seems like everybody's savings account still looks the same. Everybody usually saves around $500 to $1,000 a month, even if you have high income. Because higher income you have, your lifestyle usually looks like your, your income, right? So the savings is what's funny. It's funny that most individuals have the same number of savings. So if you want to pay off a debt of $80,000 and you save $500 a month, in one year that's what, about $6,000, right? So it's going to take you about 13 years or so, give and take. If you're saving about 1000 a month, that's 12000 a year. So it's going to give and take maybe six years, okay? So if you do the average, eight years plus, let's say, seven years, so after about 15 years of your life, your bank account is back to zero. Does that sound exciting? Everybody around you is in this dilemma. Wouldn't you agree? With this pandemic, it has made it even worse. A lot of people have lost their jobs. A lot of things are changing. So people are understanding the value of what? Of doing your own business. 
But the issue is, many of us lack the ability to start our own business. We lack three things. We lack capital, right? We lack product or service because we don't know what to sell or we don't know what to do. And then we lack managerial skills. These three things need to make a perfect circle for you to be able to have a successful business that is going to create income for you in the future. Competition will continue to grow. If you do well at your restaurant, then another restaurant will pop up across the street. If you do well with whatever business that you're doing, another business will pop up online. But the beauty about Atomy is we've created a system where the products are absolute quality and absolute price so that other companies, it's very difficult to follow. At the same time, we have a compensation plan that is very, very generous and righteous in terms of giving everybody the same payout. Everybody starts at the same time and everybody can meet at the end with the same income. And that is the beauty that Atomy is drawing out for all of us today. So as we do these things, as we understand that Atomy is something that is a gift to us and something that we can share with other individuals with zero risk, people begin to understand that during this pandemic, during the future, at your age now, it's better to start. It's better to start now than when you're 40, 45 and looking at your bank account and not understanding when, should I have done that? Should I have done that? Should I now start this? No, do it now. The flexibility of Atomy is giving you the opportunity to do it now. I'm not saying do it full time now or part time now. I don't like those terms. A lot of individuals ask me, are you recommending that I do Atomy full time? Do you recommend that I do Atomy part time? I want you to erase those words from your mind. Just because somebody is doing Atomy quote unquote full time doesn't mean that they're really investing all their energy into that business. Just because somebody is doing Atomy part time doesn't mean that they are not investing all of their energy into that business. So what I want to ask you is how much free time do you truly have? The real freedom that you have today is the choice to choose to build your future. A lot of us in many different countries do not have the freedom or the luxury of the future. We are worried about today. We are worried about putting food on the table today. We don't have the luxury of these things, but you here, us, a lot of us, when we do have the luxury of the freedom to choose to build our future, I pray that you do that now not when it's too late. Because as we choose, if you have two hours, if you have four hours, whatever it is, when you make that choice, you are now going to be able to go towards that goal of Auto Sales Master. You can invest lots of money into real estate and hope to get rent money, to get A, B, and C, all these things, but I guarantee you that most of us will not be able to afford a third house, a fourth house, a fifth house, a lot of us do not want to risk another mortgage and another mortgage because we don't know what the future holds. The only non-risk business that we can do today, I believe, is Atomy. Do you believe that? Atomy is a business that is catering to everybody around us. So on the next slide, we'll be able to see the three main things that we have to focus all our energy in. And it's very basic. It's common sense, but we don't do it. Just because you know it doesn't mean that you do it. We know we shouldn't do certain things, but our actions do not show those things because we are not reminded every single day of it. So every single day, you need to write this down, put it on your mirror, wherever you see it. Yes, today I got to do what? I have to build my network. And the first step to building your network is what? registering new members. How can a network grow if you don't register new members? Sounds so simple, right? But it's about the step zero that I said, the mindset. When we get to this point, a lot of us say, oh, I tried, I'm trying, but I'm getting no results. What did I say? I said, do not let the results determine your actions. It doesn't matter if you talk to 10 people and got 10 no's today. There's tomorrow. 
And tomorrow, you're going to be able to speak better than you did today. If you're continuing to grow in terms of your knowledge and your ability to advance yourself. Step two, it's not just about having lots of people registered in your downline. A lot of us mistake just registering many, many, many people. And I call those empty houses. Do you have lots of empty houses in your downline? Do you have a lot of green boxes, blue boxes, or are they all red now? Your downline, yes, step one is registering them, but then step two is making sure that they know their ID. Too many of our members don't know their ID, only you know their ID. Is that true? You know their ID, they don't know their ID. You know their password, they don't know their password. Are they a real member? No, it's an empty house. So I want to make sure that they understand what? How to become a consumer. And in order to become a consumer, you have to do what? You have to understand how to purchase the items. And where do we have to go to do that? Atomy.com. We go to the site and we understand how to purchase. How? Because somebody walked us through it. So walk your new consumers through the process of doing number two and number three. Number three is the same thing. It's about information. It's about understanding how to register individuals. Because in the very beginning stages, maybe it's a little bit confusing. You don't know how to register individuals. You don't know what to put in. You don't know who's the sponsor ID is. And it is your job to help them understand how to do it. Now, if we go more in depth, you can even help them how to structure their downline. Go through their list with them to see how you should place them in the downline. All these things can be done by simple 30-minute conversation with these individuals. And you can break those conversations down. But all these individuals that you contact, you have to make sure that you do full circle and do these things. You have 52 weeks in one year. If your goal is to create one member a week, that's 52 new members in one year. That's 12 months. If you understand this system and you duplicate one, two, and three with them, then within three months, give your time, a, give yourself guideline, okay? 12 months and then three months investing into them to duplicate them into doing these things because we said number three is teach them how to register new members. Then in 15 months, you should be able to have created somebody in your downline that will then be able to create another 52 members within the next 12 months of their start. Does that sound too difficult? Absolutely not. I believe that it is very doable. It is something that we can all attain to, no matter if you're doing it two hours a day, four hours a day, two hours a week, whatever it may be, I believe that you can do this by strategically planning your days and individuals who you'll be talking to. Does that make sense, everyone? Does that make sense? Are we all asleep again? No, right? Let's go to the next step. And in the next step, you can see it's about getting them plugged into the system. How many times have you been very, very gung-ho and passionate by yourself? Just like anything, you start to lose your energy. And when you start to lose your energy, you need to be recharged. And where are you right now? You're in the system. This is the system. If you're listening online, you're in the system. If this video reaches YouTube or Channel Atomy, then watching it there, you're in the system. Everything that we're doing today is about up giving you the opportunity to do this business on your own with the teaching materials that you need to duplicate yourself for other individuals as well. So we don't have to be good speakers. Because I hear a lot of individuals tell me, you know, I can't speak well. I can't present well. I'm not very persuasive. Or they'll say, I'm not good at selling, right? I'm not good at these things. It doesn't matter. 
because anatomy, every single step is already catered for you and you have all the materials that you need. So even if you can't present, what do you do? You turn on that video, sit them down, listen with them, and then you debrief with them. You talk to them about what they listen to and you share with them about these things. You don't need to be the one who speaks. Doesn't that encourage everyone? You don't have to be a superstar. It doesn't matter. In anatomy, everything is already provided for you. Now, number two, after these individuals have set all these things up, I believe that it is very important to go through the life scenario with them because a lot of us don't understand exactly what it is that we want to do. And a lot of us have smaller visions. And I think it is time for us to create larger visions. It is our responsibility as leaders and individuals to show and share with them that they can do more, that they can do it. Because a lot of us today, like I said during the first part of the lecture, that the mindset that we have subconsciously, a lot of us are not confident in ourselves. When I was in junior high, I had a very, very life-changing event happened to me. So before graduating university, I mean, before graduating high school, I moved to 10 different schools. 10 different schools before graduating high school. Is that normal? No, that's not very normal, right? My parents moved a lot. And if you know me well, you know that I am a very introverted person. I'm not a very extroverted person. A lot of people think, no way, I think you're an extroverted person. No, that is not true. This is me being who I need to be to become successful. This is not me at home in my natural environment. The best day for me is when I'm alone, reading or listening to something, and nobody talks to me. That's the happiest moment for me. <laughs> but that has not come true for the last eight to nine years. <laughs> Every day I get messages, every day I talk to people, but it's okay because these are the things that I need to do to make sure that the future is set for who? My loved ones. And those are the things that you need to do as well. So what happened was this, as I moved schools, I had a very difficult time making friends because I lived in nowhere, Alabama. So I don't know if you guys know anything about the United States, but I lived in the country, country, country. And looking the way that I look, I didn't really fit in. I fit in well here, right? If I went to school here, everybody would look at me and think that I'm the same, right? But I went to school there about 30 plus years ago. I did not look the same. So I had a very difficult time fitting in. I remember one day really praying. What I prayed for was this. I said, God, please make that ball that they're playing with roll here so I can pick up the ball and throw it back to them, make eye contact, and maybe he'll say hi to me. Doesn't that sound very desperate? That, that's how desperate I was because I didn't have the courage to go talk to them because of rejection. I thought they would reject me. I didn't have the courage. But I wanted to talk to them and I just didn't know how. Nobody was there to guide me. No, no friend to hold my hand and introduce me to other people. So I prayed, but guess what? Two weeks later, no ball came rolling. I was still alone. And then I prayed some more, <laughs> but the ball never came. But I did hear something. I felt like God speaking to me and God saying, Jude, get up. Do you not have any legs? Go, talk to them. You know how to speak English. And to me, when I heard that, do you think I was happy? No, I was upset. I said, God, I know I have legs and I know I have a mouth, but I want you to send them to me. And I stopped. And I waited another week or two. And guess what happened? The boss still didn't come. So it got to the point where I was desperate and I really wanted to make new friends. And that is when I stood up and I went and I talked to them. And when I talked to them, they were shocked. You know why they were shocked? They were in the same situation as me. They said, you know how to speak English. <laughs> they didn't know I spoke English. So they were also not knowing how to approach me. But after that day, we all came, became friends and I learned that day 
that I have the power to change my future. My situation doesn't determine my future. You have the power to change your future, everyone. You have the power to do these things. And I want you to duplicate yourself in this manner, with this positivity, with the understanding that you have the ability to change your future, that you are in control because you have this great tool called Atomy that will be able to change your financial future by giving you financial freedom, change your time future by giving you freedom of time. And all these things are possible through you, nobody else. Nobody can hold your hand, yeah, go ahead, nobody can hold your hand and walk you through. It is your responsibility to do so. And I believe that everybody who is successful and who stands on this stage, they can tell you they wanted it that bad. Just like that day when I was at school and I wanted to make friends, but I wanted all the things around me to help me. I wanted everybody else's help and I didn't want to take action. Life doesn't work like that, ladies and gentlemen. It is your responsibility to take action, to go forward and change your future. So I encourage everybody here today, I want you to take action. I want you to do these things. And every time you feel that you don't want to move, think to yourself, three, two, one, go. And take that action to go forward. All these things that you do by setting goals and by what? Becoming overall positive about everything in the future. Everybody understand? This is what I want to leave you today. So thank you all for listening. So happy to be here. And I believe that it is 100% possible for everybody in this auditorium and listening to this lecture for you to become successful in anatomy. See you all at the top. Thank you very much.